Hey guys, how's it going? Josh here. Uh, first and foremost, Merry Christmas to everyone that's watching this on Christmas and celebrates the holidays. Also, uh, besides that, we were going to try getting a trailer reaction up for you guys, but unfortunately CJ didn't have uh, the right webcam with them and you know technical difficulties essentially, so he wasn't able to do that. So because of that, I thought, hey, why not just do a trailer breakdown? I haven't done one in a while, and it's been a fat while. Um, just so fair warning, this will be potentially spoilers because while I haven't seen the movie, I'm using a lot of sources that have proven accurate so far. So more likely than not, it's correct. And in that instance, I don't want to risk spoiling the movie for anyone that doesn't want to be spoiled. So I will go relatively in-depth, but I'm just giving you guys a warning now. Also, if you want to know more about the movie as we lead up to it, Nick has done a fantastic job so far with our Alien Covenant and also some Predator stuff too, basically coverage for that whole universe. So definitely go check out those, there's a playlist for that. And without further ado, let's get started. So our first image here, our first still from the trailer I should say, mark that 19 seconds. It doesn't have any real plot significance. Uh, the plot significance that I'll mention will be in the next visual uh, you know, kind of screenshot I took. But this basically stuck out to me because it kind of sets up the tone for the trailer and it has very much a horror kind of original Aliens vibe actually to it. And I really did appreciate it because it could have easily tried giving it the action adventure-esque, maybe just stereotypical sci-fi kind of feel. But instead, right off the bat, they decide they want to give the audience a feel of horror films. So I really did appreciate that. I thought that was really cool. And also you can just see just how desperate um, you know, they are because they're doing stuff like locking people in rooms. Even if there's a 1% chance you could be infected, anything like that, they're not taking chances. You know, usually in a film, someone will last minute try, you know, helping their friend out. But in this case, not at all, which really, I think, sets the tone, but also the mood for at this point in the movie where we're at with these characters. So our next one is actually really interesting. It's clocked at 20 seconds. And this is the part where I said, it would be kind of spoilerish, so to be careful while watching this breakdown, because I'm not gonna, you know, you know, cheat you guys out of a breakdown. If I'm gonna do a breakdown, I'm gonna do a breakdown. So we have some potential spoilers from AVP Galaxy, and they're talking. This is from like I think early November. So the fact that this is actually what we're seeing in the trailer, I think, gives credit to what they're saying. But anyways, what they said was one of the neomorphs, which is which is I guess what they're calling them instead of z xenomorphs. One of the Neomorphs burst through the back of one of the infected crew members called a Backburster. And, you know, the other one, I guess, comes out through the throat. And supposedly there's one that actually does come out the traditional, you know, kind of chest burster route. But this is interesting. This is basically what we're seeing back here. Um, they also described what this uh, Backburster looks like, which is more or less unused concept art for the proto-alien, which I guess eventually becoming became, I should say, the Deacon. So I put a picture of that right there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And yeah, this is this is looking like it's going to be a pretty gory movie from what it sounds like. I mean, coming through the throat, obviously the chest, the back. And they're very much showing it too. They're not really shying away from it. In the trailer, they showed blood coming out and stuff like that. Bones breaking from the spine. So yeah, I'm really like, this is really interesting with what they're going, what they're going to do basically. So our next still is clocked at 38 seconds, and this one really interested me. Uh, first and foremost, because we know the person in the white sitting down is Michael Fassbender. However, Michael Fassbender is playing two characters in this movie. He's playing David, which was the character he played in Prometheus, and then he's playing Walter, which is a more advanced android, which obviously has the same appearance as David. So I'm really curious to, to, knowing, to knowing, yeah, which character is sitting down. Um, I believe it's Walter just because the way he was looking at the environment at this part of the trailer, it kind of had a sense of amazement to it, which you really wouldn't have if you went through everything David went through, you know, while at this landscape. Like, honestly, it's a beautiful view and all that, but if I went through anything the members of the Prometheus crew went through, I definitely would not be looking at this place with any sense of amazement whatsoever. If anything, I'd be looking at it with dread. I do, however, think the person in black might be David. The reason why is because obviously one wearing black, one wearing white, it'd be really, you know, obvious a contrast, you know, the two, maybe their personalities are a lot different. We don't know yet really, but the only reason I'm also saying that is because the person in the black outfit at least looks kind of like Michael Fassbender and that's the only other character besides Walter that would be Michael Fassbender. So 
if one's David, the other must be Walter and vice versa. So uh, with that said and done, let's go on to the next still. Okay, so our next still is at 45 seconds. Now, this is interesting because we don't really have any clear indication if it's Walter, if it's David, uh, which android it is. However, what I think is worth noting is that, you know, David, Walter, whoever it is, has a very kind of serious kind of stiff face. Like, they aren't really happy, they're not really enjoying the moment, they're very focused. And I think that's important to note because I believe this is probably during the middle of the movie. Now, if you ask me personally which android I think this is, I will say David. I believe Walter is going to wear more light clothing, you know, in color throughout the movie, and not really hoodies. And I think David will definitely be wearing hoodies and more darker colored clothing, just so you can really contrast, you know, the two just visually. I think that's what they're going to go through. Now, I believe they are on the ship that the new crew is coming on. I don't think they're on the ship, obvi well, for obviously they're not on the ship from Prometheus, but I believe they're on the ship that the new uh, crew is coming in, and I think David's kind of exploring around, stuff like that, which is why he kind of looks incognito-ish, if that makes any sense. I don't really think this is Walter. There's no reason for Walter to really try to, to you know, hide his presence while exploring the ship, potentially. And I don't believe this is once kind of like the alien outbreak happens for the movie, considering he has no weapons on him whatsoever, and he doesn't have any protect protective gear whatsoever, and he really doesn't seem like he's ready to fight a potential alien as much as he's just kind of exploring the area kind of thing. So let's get on to the next still. All right, so our next still is at 58 seconds. Nothing really important happening here. I just wanted to make sure everyone knew this was the same location from Prometheus. It's a moon called LV-223, so it's not a planet, it's a moon. And like I said before, nothing really important about this part of the trailer necessarily, besides it letting us all know it's the same location from Prometheus. Okay, so our next still is at a minute and five seconds. So at this part of the trailer, uh, one of the guys on the expedition, you know, steps on some stuff, spores come out, and it goes into his ear. And this fits exactly with uh, what AVP Galaxy actually said. Which, and I quote, the new aliens reportedly spawned from black goo, which we saw in Prometheus, mutating a local ecosystem, which I'm, I'm assuming is where they are right now. When pods, which are these things, grow on trees, or growing on trees are disturbed, they release spores, and those spores enter the crew members of Covenant, which is a ship, through their nostrils and ears, which we saw the ear one um, in the trailer. Now the spores cause the growth of the neomorphs inside the infected host. So this is really interesting. I think it's kind of a, it, it, it kind of sucks really because it's not even a thing anymore where you know it's a black goo or anything like that. It's literally spores. Like you probably don't even notice you're infected. So I'm wondering how this will really affect the movie because before it was kind of very you know clear cut if you got infected or not. Like how you got infected, it was very obvious. You know you touched something, you know it was something along those lines, or you got attacked by something. In this one, it's spores which is really hard to really nail down, you know, the moment of your infection, honestly, because you could be like, well, maybe I got infected when I walked outside earlier. Maybe I got infected like a week ago. I don't know because I didn't really pay attention to fucking spores. Excuse my language. But um, yeah, so comment, uh, comment below with uh, your guys' thoughts on this. Like, are you guys excited for it to be a spores kind of thing? I was hoping, personally, it would be the alien from the last movie, you know, the Deacon, you know, kind of wreaking havoc maybe still. But, you know, it's all cool. Maybe those uh, flatworms will come back. Those evil, evil flatworms. But, yeah, let's get on to the next still. Okay, so our next still is clocked at a minute 17. Now, this was interesting to me, at least. Like, they showed a little bit of it earlier when they were getting off the ship. But the thing that really interests me here, besides the fact that, you know, the trees and the environment look damaged, maybe by the black goo, besides that... Everyone is armed, even Michael Fassbender's character, which is either the android David or the android Walter, which is why earlier I didn't think that, you know, with the flashlight and all that stuff, this was at that part of the movie where the aliens invaded because he didn't have any weaponry. This is definitely in my mind, you know, after the aliens have kind of started going on, like the aliens, you know, Xenomorphs, Neomorphs, Neomorphs, whatever they're going to be called, this part of the movie I definitely think is when that happens you know this has happened now everyone's kind of on the offensive instead of just defensive which is really interesting to see in my opinion because usually everyone's always defensive and they just kind of get picked off and then someone escapes but i like the kind of twist on it 
where that does happen, but you know, maybe they actually fought back initially. Maybe they didn't just like turn around and show their bellies, which I think would be a pretty cool twist. Now, is David, you know, kind of leading the way or is it, you know, going to be Walter? I don't know. I really have no idea who it is. In my mind, I would think David because David would know the location better than Walter. But it's possible as androids, maybe they can just share their information like a cloud kind of system. I don't know. You know, maybe do direct downloads, USBs. Who knows? But the important thing to me is that they're all armed and they look like they're hunting for something. So in my mind, they're hunting for a xenomorph, neomorph, whatever it's going to be called. All right, so our next deal is clocked at a minute 26. Now, this is pretty cool because for everyone that's ever seen an alien movie, you know this is a face hugger. So I'm really excited to basically see what part of the movie this you know comes in at. I guess, you know, I've heard rumors about this, but supposedly there will be neomorphs and then at the end of the movie, a proper xenomorph, I guess. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, it would make sense, I guess. Like, you know, they get infected by the spores, the neomorph happens, and then maybe this part of the movie comes in with a face hugger, impregnates a human, obviously, and we get a proper chest buster. But obviously, I haven't seen the movie. I don't know yet. But I would love, at you know, if you're watching this still, please comment below, you know, where do you think this fits in, you know, chronologically with the film's plot? And do you think it looks cool? I think it looks pretty cool. I got some kind of, you know, nostalgic vibes, um, both in the sense of, oh, it's awesome, you know, I remember that as a kid, and also in the, oh, shit, I'm pretty sure in a movie, I'll totally forget that the scene was in the trailer, and it might scare the shit out of me for a split second. So uh, let's get on to the next slide now. Okay, so next we have Michael Fassbender looking like he just got kicked out of Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy. But all jokes aside, he, uh, you know, I think this is when they find David. I think it's when the crew of the Covenant find David. You know, it looks like he's wearing, you know, something to kind of hide himself. Maybe to kind of camouflage himself. Who knows if he's hiding from, like, uh, you know, any mutated animals in this on this moon. Who knows? Uh, but I think it's worth noting that this definitely doesn't appear to be Walter, which would only mean it's probably David. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. I like what they're kind of the kind of vibes they're getting, you know, they're giving with this. I'm definitely getting the vibe that he's kind of like the last survivor, which is kind of what the plot synopsis also, you know, kind of told us too, which basically said the crew comes to this location and the only survivor there is David. So I I'm definitely really excited to seeing, you know, how they pull all this stuff together, considering it's a pretty ambitious project, and I'm sure you could easily get confused between David and Walter. Okay, so for our last still from the trailer, clocked at a minute 52, we kind of have the scene. So it looks like, you know, two people are about to have sex, you know, have some good sexy time. And then we see like a tail kind of slither, you know, across. And it looks like the guy's going to get killed instead of the girl this time. But anyways, we kind of see the xenomorph, the neomorph, whatever you want to call it. We kind of see it very faintly. I put a red box around it. And this kind of fits the description possibly of what the grown neomorph is going to look like which is the following according to AVP Galaxy, which has been pretty accurate so far. And they say, when they mature, they grow significantly larger and walk on their back legs. They were more animal-like in behavior with fang-like teeth. Unlike the earlier Prometheus concepts, the neomorphs also have tails. In addition, the adult neomorphs also developed a slightly translucent appearance. Now this kind of run reminded me of the concept art for the kind of alien you know, engineer kind of hybrid thing that originally was in the script, which I put the concept art for here. So I'm not saying this is what the concept art for this thing is, but I'm saying it has a similar enough appearance where I'm kind of thinking it'll be in a similar vein. Probably not as big though, since this thing was supposed to be like 12 feet tall according to his concept art, but I still think it'll be pretty huge. I'm really excited for this movie. Like I said before in the beginning, Definitely, you know, comment below your guys' thoughts. Are you excited for the movie? Whatever have you. What was your favorite part of the trailer? And definitely check out our Alien coverage for this movie. Also, Alien 5, the Predator movie that's going to come out, the reboot, like all that stuff. Nick's doing a fantastic job with that so far. So definitely go check that out if you want to know more about these movies coming out. And without, you know, with all that said and done, it's Josh, and I'll see you guys later. But if I went through anything the members of the Prometheus crew went through, I definitely would not be looking at this place with any sense of amazement whatsoever. If anything, I'd be looking at it with dread. I do, however, think the person in black might be David. The reason why is because obviously one wearing black, one wearing white. 
it'd be really you know obvious a contrast you know the two maybe their personalities are a lot different we don't know yet really but the only reason i'm also saying that is because the person in the black outfit at least looks kind of like michael fassbender and that's the only other character besides walter that would be michael fassbender so if one's david the other must be walter and vice versa so uh with that said and done let's go on to the next still okay so our next still is at 45 seconds now this is interesting because we don't really have any clear indication if it's Walter, if it's David, uh, which android it is. However, what I think is worth noting is that, you know, David, Walter, whoever it is, has a very kind of serious kind of stiff face. Like, they aren't really happy, they're not really enjoying the moment they're very fucking about. And yeah, this is, this is looking like it's going to be a pretty gory movie from what it sounds like. I mean, coming through the throat, obviously the chest, the back, and they're very much showing it too. They're not really shying away from it. In the trailer, they showed blood coming out and stuff like that, bones breaking from the spine. So yeah, I'm really like, this is really interesting with what they're going, what they're going to do basically. So our next still is clocked at 38 seconds. And this one really interested me, uh, first and foremost, because we know the person in the white sitting down is Michael Fassbender. However, Michael Fassbender is playing two characters in this movie. He's playing David, which was the character he played in Prometheus, and then he's playing Walter, which is a more advanced android, which obviously has the same appearance as David. So I'm really curious to, to knowing to knowing yeah which character is sitting down. Um, I believe it's Walter just because the way he was looking at the environment at this part of the trailer, it kind of had a sense of amazement to it, which you really wouldn't have if you went through everything David went through, you know, while at this landscape. Like, honestly, it's a beautiful view and all that. So our next one is actually really interesting. It's clocked at 20 seconds, and this is the part where I said it would be kind of spoilerish, so to be careful while watching this breakdown because I'm not going to, you know, you know cheat you guys have a breakdown if i'm gonna do a breakdown i'm gonna do a breakdown so we have some potential spoilers from avp galaxy and they're talking this is from like i think early november so the fact that this is actually what we're seeing in the trailer i think gives credit to what they're saying but anyways what they said was one of the neomorphs which is which is i guess what they're calling them instead of Z xenomorphs one of the neomorphs burst through the back of one of the infected crew members called a backburster and you know the other one I guess comes out through the throat and supposedly there's one that actually does come out the traditional you know kind of chest burster route but this is interesting this is basically what we're seeing back here um, they also described what this uh, backburster looks like which is more or less unused concept art for the proto alien which I guess eventually becoming became I should say the deacon so I put a picture of that right there so you guys can see what I'm talking Hey guys, how's it going? Josh here. Uh, first and foremost, Merry Christmas to everyone that's watching this on Christmas and celebrates the holidays. Also, uh, besides that, we were going to try getting a trailer reaction up for you guys, but unfortunately CJ didn't have uh, the right webcam with them and you know technical difficulties essentially, so he wasn't able to do that. So because of that, I thought, hey, why not just do a trailer breakdown? I haven't done one in a while and it's been a fat while. Um, just so fair warning, this will be potentially spoilers because while I haven't seen the movie, I'm using a lot of sources that have proven accurate so far. So more likely than not, it's correct. And in that instance, I don't want to risk spoiling the movie for anyone that doesn't want to be spoiled. So I will go relatively in depth, but I'm just giving you guys a warning now. Also, if you want to know more about the movie as we lead up to it, Nick has done a fantastic job so far with our alien covenant and also some predator stuff too basically coverage for that whole universe so definitely go check out those there's a playlist for that and without further ado let's get started so our first image here our first still from the trailer I should say mark that 19 seconds it doesn't have any real plot significance uh the plot significance that i'll mention will be in the next visual uh you know kind of screenshot i took but this basically stuck out to me because it kind of sets up the tone for the trailer and it has very much a horror kind of original Aliens vibe actually to it. And I really did appreciate it because it could have easily tried giving it the action adventure-esque, maybe just stereotypical sci-fi kind of feel. But instead, right off the bat, they decide they want to give the audience a feel of horror films. So I really did appreciate that. I thought that was really cool. And also you can just see just how desperate 
um, you know, they are because they're doing stuff like locking people in rooms. Even if there's a 1% chance you could be infected, anything like that, they're not taking chances. You know, usually in film, someone will last minute try, you know, helping their friend out. But in this case, not at all, which really, I think, sets the tone, but also the mood for at this point in the movie where we're at with these characters.